husband Ken works in Tokyo. He's a scriptwriter. Ken, who is on a deadline trying to find an inspiration, <coughs> he's going to ride his beloved Honda Super Cup through the streets of Tokyo in the night time. Asakusa, Shibuya, Shinjuku, and Tokyo Tower. We will show you the lifestyle and culture of today's Japan through a day in the life of Ken. Hope you enjoy the video. Ken has work due tomorrow, but he has not come out with good ideas yet. So he came out on his motorcycle to change his mindset a bit. Let's go for a night tour in Tokyo on Ken's motorcycle tonight. First, he came to Asakusa, one of the most famous sightseeing towns in Japan. Historical architecture s are lined up in the area where you could walk for a few minutes from the station. Kaminari Mon, Nakamise Dori. They have all the drawings of Asakusa's history on the shutters. What is it like around the center of Asakusa Sensoji Temple in the nighttime? Beautifully lighted up Myozo, Myo statue, Goju no To, five storied pagoda, and the Sensoji Temple. Ken went into the temple to pray. We have a video showing daytime in Asakusa. Check that out if you are interested. After wandering in Wondrous area, he came to somewhere completely different. Bar district called Hoppi Dori. This nostalgic street is always crowded with tourists from all over the places and neighbors who are here almost every day. He came to Cafe instead. Ken likes old, retro coffee shop more than trendy latest cafes. After getting stimulated by the town of Asakusa, it's time to work. Many Japanese kids might have asked their parents to get this drink. Cream soda is booming again in Japan now. Ken is getting overdosed with sugar to energize body and brain. But as usual, he had all at once. And. <coughs> had a difficulty breathing. What a life threatening <coughs> cherry. After enjoying the cream soda, he's now ready to start his work. Opened up his PC, but nothing is popping up in his mind. Seems like his work did not show any progress, but he just got overdosed with sugar with tasty cream soda. Moving to another place on his motorcycle. Ken is going through near the Tokyo Tower. What it's like at the very bottom of this huge tower? It looks like this. Unexpectedly simple. Do you know how much it costs to light up the tower for a day? It's about 21,000 yen. He's running through the center of Kawaii culture, Harajuku. He arrived in Shibuya. The Shibuya Scramble Crossing is still full of people. The night of Shibuya is just beginning. Sentagai, Center Street, continues from the crossing. Unique individual stores are lining up. A little off the center guy, Spain Zaka, Spain Hill. This area has a slightly more mature atmosphere. Shibuya is under huge construction for a long time. Many skyscraper buildings were built after so many years, but we heard there are a few more buildings coming up. He's moving out from the central area of Shibuya. Maruyamacho area is much quiet. There are many live houses and small theaters. And this town has another famous character Love Hotel. Love Hotels. Seems like love hotels are pretty unique Japanese culture. It is a place for a couple to spend their time doing whatever they want to do. Vague, 
but let's keep it to this extent. Just along the street, there are so many love hotels. And on this street too. They are in all kinds of shapes to attract all the couples. They are candy house-like hotels too. There is no time to take a walk. He must move on with his work soon or else he will miss the deadline. He entered his favorite cafe in Maruyamacho. The area near Shibuya station is crowded with people from morning till night. Finding a seat at a cafe is a big challenge in this town. But in this area, the streets are less crowded. There are less people but many fashionable cafes. If you are in Shibuya and want to take a break, Maruyamajo is the place to go. It seems his work has made a progress. Going off to the next town by motorcycle to change the mood. We came to Shinjuku. Shinjuku station is also less crowded than in the daytime. But this town has just started its showtime. Ken came to Kabukicho in Shinjuku. It is said that this is one of the most entertaining red light districts in East Asia. You can enjoy all kinds of nighttime entertainment. Kyabakura might be one of unique Japanese cultures. Once you enter the club, ladies called Kyabajo in sexy dresses will be seated beside you and serve drinks having fun conversation. There is interesting district at the back of Kabukicho. An area with hostokurabu, host clubs. Men called hosto, host, in a suit sit next to you to serve drinks and entertain customers with their talks. These are the signs of the top kyabajo and hosto of the clubs. Ken went into one of the buildings. This is batting center. Pitching machine throws out a ball and you hit it back. 300 yen for 20 throws. You could choose the ball speed by your level. Batting center is a very common place to hit away everyday stress. Do you have this in your country? A little warm up made him feel refreshed. A little more work to do. He's going to work in cafe in Kabukicho. While Ken is working, I'll need you to give you some advice in advance if you're planning to enjoy the town of Kabukicho because there are some points you need to be careful. You should know that there are some shops like Bottakuri Bar. Bottakuri means charging exorbitant, outrageous price. And we call out about a bar or restaurant which does this, a Bottakuri Bar. Just be careful with these bars when you are out there. Well, how is it going with your work, Ken? Seems like he's done with what he should be doing within today. Time for some treats. Ken came to Ramen Ya, ramen restaurant. Ichiran is the must-go ramen shop in Japan. Seats are separated one by one so you could enjoy private ramen time without any concerns about other customers or staffs. You could concentrate enjoying the ramen. Pork-based thick soup is something you need to experience once in your lifetime. There are English and Chinese menus, travelers friendly. The individual seating and the quality of ramen will surely satisfy you. Well, thick soup ramen in the midnight sounds super unhealthy to me, but might be great for once in a while as after work treat. How was the midnight tour in Tokyo? This is the day in the life of my husband, Ken. We'll see you in the next video.